Hi everyone, I'm Jackie and I'm back with another Girl Scouts at Home program video for you today. And today we're going to be learning a skill I learned at a very young age and I learned this because of my love for Christmas and I just love, love, love the holiday of Christmas. I think I've talked about that in a past video. But I also learned this because I love giving gifts um, and receiving gifts. I just love like seeing the joy people get when you give them a, a gift, especially if it's something they really wanted. So today we are going to learn how to wrap a gift. So we're going to actually learn this in three different ways. The first one's just going to be how to wrap like a standard like box. I just have this, um, it's an empty box now, but I just have this empty box. Um, there's nothing in it. And I'm just going to teach you how to wrap it with wrapping paper. Then we're going to learn how to wrap a gift that is oddly shaped. Um, I know I have younger siblings and younger cousins, and um, they love doing outdoor things. So, like, one year I got them a soccer ball or, like, footballs, basketballs, like, oddly shaped gifts like that. Or if you do, like, a baking basket um, and you get, like, a cook bowl, bowl and then you do, like, a whisk and, like, cake mix and, like, measuring cups and stuff like that, um, the bowl is oddly shaped. So you either have to put it in a box, which can sometimes make your gift even bigger, or you have to... Um, wrap it um, and you want it to look nice so you want to make sure you can do it the best you can so first things first if you get new wrapping paper I just picked up this roll at the Dollar Tree you can get wrapping paper at pretty much any store you just have to take off the plastic off yours oh and then the third thing that we're gonna do is to learn how to make a fun little small box out of paper that you can put really tiny gifts in so if you make your mom or dad um, a little tiny magnet for the fridge or a bracelet or something, any type of like arts and crafts gifts. This is a really easy way that I learned in third grade from my teacher, one of my favorite teachers ever, shout out to Miss Murtu, um, that uh, how to like make a little box to wrap little trinket gifts. So I'm gonna tilt you guys down so we can learn how to wrap a gift. Okay, so the first step is to spread out your wrapping paper and then you wanna put your gift in the middle of your wrapping paper and you want to keep rolling out your wrapping paper until you can make your wrapping paper go all the way around your gift plus like a little inch extra so i always bring mine up around and i bring it into the middle so like right there is where i need to cut it so then i'm going to i'm going to turn this around so you guys can see me cut it put it this way oh my papers are blowing in the wind. Let me just move this really fast one second. Sorry guys. Didn't think this through using paper outside, but that's okay. It's a nice day, so I wanted to enjoy the weather. So once again, you want to make sure you have enough to wrap it. And so I'm gonna cut it right here. Um, you're gonna take your scissors or a rotary knife if you have that, but I always use scissors. And then you wanna just cut a straight line Straight as can be on down. If it's not perfect, that's okay. Um, we will, we can fix that. Okay, so now that we have our straight line, we want to position our box to be in the middle of the paper. Um, and we, as you can see, so this side, when you fold it up, it goes over top of the box. You wanna push the box closer so it goes about um, two thirds up. I'm gonna push the box a little bit closer for you guys still. So the paper's two thirds of the way up, okay? And so then we want to go to the other side and we're going to trim off about two thirds up on the other side. So we're just gonna trim off the excess and you also wanna to try to make this as straight as possible, but if it's not straight, that's totally fine. We can make do. Sometimes I, paper is really easy to cut and sometimes it won't slide all the way through. It kinda of depends on what type of paper you get, but yes. So you just wanna chop it off. And here's my excess. Um, I usually like to save it, especially if I'm wrapping a ton of Christmas gifts all together. I'll save it and see if I can use it again. Or if you're using like a fun little wrapping paper like this, you can always change this into like scrapbooking paper. So I just put it off to the side for later. So the first step after you have all of your paper cut is you wanna put the gift box down. So this is the top of my gift. So I wanna face it down and then I wanna put it in the middle of my page of wrapping paper and I'm going to slide it um, to what I think is the middle. So just put about 
two inches over the top. And we're gonna get a piece of tape. And you can just use one tape in the middle. You can put tape on the side, whatever you want. Then you're gonna put your hand on the far side and you're gonna make sure you pull, push the box snug tight to it. And we're gonna use our fingers on the side that we just taped and we're gonna make a crisp line to make sure it's nice and even. Cause we want it to stay there. That's where we want it to be. And then you're gonna pull and you're gonna wrap the box around. Okay, so as you can see, we have a little bit left over. We want to make it so we don't have lines. So we're going to um, crisp the top of the box that we just did on the other side to make sure it stays. And then we're going to fold it over a little bit. Under, not over. Okay? So we're going to fold it under so then we can have a flat as long as possible. And this is why it doesn't matter if your line you cut was not perfectly flat because we're folding it over. And so if it, you had jagged edges, they'll just get folded under. So if you have a pattern, it's really easy. It helps you because you can line it up and you know that you're doing it right. And then since we don't want our tape lines to show, I usually use double-sided tape, but right now I only have um, single-sided. So I'm gonna roll it in little um, circles. Can you see? Okay, and we're just gonna pick it up and you can use as much or as little tape as you want. Um, Sometimes I think more tape is helpful, but I don't like when the tape shows. Then you're just gonna put it there, and so then I'll do one more on each end. So take another piece of tape and fold it over, fold it over. So we have double-sided tape without buying double-sided tape, but it is nice to have double-sided tape on hand if you have that. And then we're just gonna push this one on down. We're gonna do one more on this other side. Folding the circle again, put it right on the edge. And so now it does not look like we, can, we can't see any tape lines. And this is our bottom, remember? So then we're gonna go to the sides and we're going to fold in. I always fold in on the bottom first and you're gonna take your finger to make a crisp line right there. Then go to the top and you'll take your finger to make another crisp line. Um, go to the other side, this line, okay, and then I usually fold it over because it's easy to fold when you have um, a straight, when you have the surface to press against. So you want to fold it in, be like this, um, and then since this side is, um, this side has the excess, we gotta make sure we fold that part in too. Okay, so we fold that one in and this one's in. Okay, so now we have two triangles. To make it look nice, fold it about um, a third of the way down and just do a straight line. And then this one too, about a third of the way down and do a straight line, okay? And so since I said I don't like seeing any tape lines, I'm gonna again, I would use double-sided tape here if I have it, but right now I don't. So I'm gonna fold another circle and just put it right there. Um, and then I'm going to fold it up. And then another circle. And I'll put it on the triangle we just folded under. And I will pull it to make a crisp line. And I'll fold it down. Okay. Um, Double-sided tape works a lot better, but if you don't mind having tape lines, you can just take your tape right here um, and tape it together. And then you have that side done. Um, and then if you want, you can sit, it, sit your box up and do the top side the same way. So we're gonna fold in the sides with a crisp line and a crisp line. Fold in the other side. Remember to make sure you get the side that's um, not attached. Okay. And then this side already has longer, um, I had less, I had less um, wrapping paper on this side than on my other side. So we will, um, since we have them folded in, we 
will fold it up and then fold it down and we'll tape it right like that. So I'm gonna do that real fast. I'm gonna fold it up. Tape it there. And then fold it down. And if I don't want any tape, I'm gonna go a loop. I'm gonna use two loops. So I'm gonna put one on this side and one on this side. Okay, and there we go. Now we have our box wrapped and the only spot you see tape is um, this one right here because I um, didn't have the double side tape and didn't put enough on the bottom. I just wanted to close it. But now we have a nicely wrapped gift box. So that's how you wrap a package. Okay, so now we're going to do a package that's oddly shaped. Like before I said, it could be like a basket of something or a sports ball or like anything that's like circular or like doesn't have the flat crisp edges that a box has. And so we're going to wrap this little summer gift basket I made. Um, and so we're gonna wrap it um, and we'll get started right now. Um, it's oddly shaped because while it does have a flat surface, you can, it's hard to wrap a circle. So once again, we start out with the wrap paper and we lay it out. And we are going to do the same thing where we just lay it down and we wanna make sure that we have wrapping paper that goes all the way around it. And so this looks kind of weird right now, but so it goes to here. And so then we're going to take our scissors and cut again. So let me just go ahead and cut. Um, what we're gonna be making is kind of like a grocery bag or like a brown paper bag, I would explain it as, but it makes it really easy to wrap oddly shaped packages. So, um, that's our gift. So we cut it with our scissors and now we're going to fold the paper into third type, into thirds. So we wanna fold it into the middle um, and just fold our paper in there and you want just straight lines so just line it up this is what i think the middle is i'm gonna fold it right there okay and i'm going to bring the other side to the middle and i'm just going to fold it right there too Sorry, I'm trying to line this up because I have the pattern I want it to match. Um, but if you don't have a pattern, it's okay if it's not like perfect. And so now we are going to tape our um, bag shut. And so I would use more tape than less on this because you want to make sure that it stays all the way shut. Um, if you have time, you could also glue it um, if you fold it and fold it a little bit on top, like how my fingers are on top but I don't have as much time, so I'm just going to tape it all, so. Grab another piece of tape, start up at the top, tape it, go down as I just go down the seam that I created and tape it as I go. I mean, so my pattern, I didn't line up perfectly, but that's okay. The wind's coming again. That's okay. It's not the end of the world. This is just a fun little gift bag. We can make it work. There we go. The wind's coming. Okay, so we wanna make sure that our edges are flat here the sides that we fold it in. We wanna make sure that those are flat and good, okay? And then we're going to, this is gonna be our bottom and we're gonna fold this up about six or eight inches or so, just however much you think you wanna fold it up. Um, maybe just fold it up a little bit. I'll measure it really fast to see how much I fold it up. I folded it up seven and a half inches. So between like six and eight inches, you can just eyeball it. So we now have it in a little square. 
Um, and we're going to open this square. Um, and this is easier to do with thinner paper rather than like thick, sturdy wrapping paper because you're trying to bend it. If you've ever done origami, this is kind of like an origami project. I would describe it that way. Um, and then we're going to open it and crease the edges to make it into a square on this side. And since we overlapped it, um, you wanna do the top side first because it will be overlapped. And so we're gonna crease the edges to make a square on this side, okay. So we now have a little square and this is going to be our bottom. So the next thing is we're going to fold in the top side down to the bottom and the triangle top on the bottom down to the bottom and then we're gonna take the bottom side and fold that into the middle too. Okay. And then here is when you wanna use as much tape as you feel like again, because once again, this is gonna be the bottom and we're just gonna tape the side shut. If you have time, you can use glue to make sure it stays, um, but I'm just using tape. So I just wanna make sure the bottom stays as this is going to be kind of like a little gift bag type thing that we're making. Okay, so there's that. I'm gonna tape the other side really fast. Once again, I said I'm using a lot of tape. I don't want the bottom of the bag to fall out of my little basket I made to just end up on the ground. So there is that. Um, and honestly, this seems kind of like hard, but it is pretty simple. Okay, so now we have the bottom of our bag. We're just going to stick our hand in and open it up. Okay, we are a pretty tall bag. And so we realized that our gift is not that tall, but if you have this tall of a gift, then that's fine, you can use that. But my gift is only goes to here, so I'm gonna cut off the top half of my bag. So it's not as tall. It'll be easier to open up and slide my gift into. Um, with this bag, you can add tissue paper to it if you want, or you don't have to, it's totally up to you. Um, and once again, straight lines are great. If you don't have straight lines, that's okay. It's not the end of the world. So here's our gift. I'm gonna set this up a little bit. We're going to open our gift bag. Um, and just be careful, the paper's kind of thin, so it might open easily, it might not. Then we just take our, the wind is not my friend. I'm gonna lay it down and insert it on its side as the wind's not my friend today. Just insert it into the gift bag. It will sit right there. And then we can just fold in the corners like how we folded in on um, when we were doing, we'll fold in the corners like this, how we folded in the corners when we were wrapping. So just fold in the corners. And there will be air on the inside, that's totally fine. And then you just fold it down and you can fold it down one more time and just kind of pop it up. And I use one piece of tape to secure it usually. And then um, I normally would take ribbon and wrap it around to hold it. So that is how we can wrap an oddly shaped gift. And we now know how to wrap a square shaped gift. The next thing we're going to learn is how to wrap a little trinket. So really, I don't have anything to wrap. I'm just going to make a small box for you. So how you do this is you need two pieces of paper. One of mine flew clear over here. Two pieces of paper. I like to use scrapbooking paper because it's already a square. You can use construction paper, computer paper. Um, if you do that, you just need to make sure your paper is turned into a square. Um, the size of your square, you don't want it to be too small because the box will get smaller. So we'll, we'll start with this one. If you do use scrapbooking paper, um, it is thicker, so it could be harder to fold. So first things first is you wanna turn, you wanna fold corner to corner and just crease the line. And then we're gonna open it up and do corner to corner. And then crease the line again. Okay, and then when you open it back up, you can see um, you can see the X in there. So we're gonna take each corner and bring it to the center of the X. Okay, one at a time. And you wanna fold um, as nice and straight as possible. You wanna have as straight as edges as possible because if not, um, you will, your 
um, squares will overlap and it's not the end of the world, but it just won't be as perfect at the end. But once again, as I said in past videos, we're not perfectionists, we're doing these things for fun. So it's totally fine. Okay, so we now have a minier, minier square than what we had before. It's still pretty big, but that's okay. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the side and you can see that we have lines here. So we're just gonna fold the side, side to the middle. So fold the side into the middle. And then we'll do the same thing with the other side, side to the middle. Um, also, sometimes I like to do the top with just scrapbook paper and the bottom with just white paper because the, it's not always seen, but I'm doing both with scrapbook paper today. And this one will be our bottom. And then we fold the side to the, um, so now we have it like this. So we're gonna open it all the way up and we're gonna do the same thing with this middle line. We're gonna fold the top and the bottom to the middle. So I just turned it. Top, bottom to the middle. And I always like to rotate it so the side I'm folding faces me. I just think it's easier to make the edges, but that's fine if you don't like that. Okay, so now we have this, but it will also fold like this, okay? And we have four little triangles in the middle. Then you need a pair of scissors, and we're going to make four snips. So we're going to cut one here, and you want to make sure you cut all the way through, and then cut one next to it. And then you're gonna skip the next side, go to the third side and cut and cut, and then you skip the fourth side. So now we have, since we made our cuts, our paper opens like this, okay? And then we can um, bring up the sides. So you just fold it on the main line and bring in the sides and you do it to the other one too bring up the sides, and then the side that we cut folds over and we'll fold it in place. So, you just tuck it. If it's having a hard time staying, you can use some tape, but usually it will stay by itself. And so then you just tuck it. Okay, so see, it will stay by itself right like that. Like I can toss it, it won't fall apart. But if it's having a hard time staying, you just take a piece of tape and you tape it in the center right here in the middle. So. I can do the next one really fast for you guys if you want. Um, actually, I'll do the next one and then I'll come back when I have the next one done and I'll show you how they go together. Okay guys, so I made the bottom with you guys. I showed you how to do that and I just made the top really fast. So they just slide together, um, kind of like a little gift box like this. Um, and you can put little trinkets in it. I personally love this. I learned how to make this in third grade, like I said before, and I use it for a lot of different things. Um, I have some of them just for like little storage things in my house. The bigger your square you start off with, the bigger you can uh, make the gift box to be. So that's kind of cool. Um, it's really great. Um, with back to school coming up, you can make a little gift for your teacher, make a box. Um, give it to them or if you just make a little arts and crafts thing with your friends and you want to give it to your parents um, I've also used these for baking. So I like to cook a lot. Um, so at times I will make um, Cookies or something I'll make boxes like these and then put like two or three cookies in it and take it to a friend So this is a really easy way to um, wrap a little gift or a little trinket I hope you enjoyed um, learning how to wrap to make this little fun box to how to wrap an oddly shaped gift and how to wrap a box if you have any questions about this, you can leave it down below in the comments and we'll get back to you on them. If you have any other ideas about things you need help with, like a life skill you wanna learn, you can leave that down there too. And I'd love to make a video to help you with that. Um, be checking out this video and other Girl Scout at Home videos um, this week, next week, why we keep doing it. We'd love that you guys are interacting with them and we'd love to have you keep watching them. Uh, I just wanna say happy, have a happy day and a good week. Bye everyone.